Hi guys, welcome back. It's been a while since I made a video, guys, and I just wanna. I was just missing you guys so much, so I decided to, on this video guys, we're gonna be making a masterpiece. But not only one, we're gonna be making two masterpieces guys, using these beautiful vessels that they are back in stock at 6017 guys. This is the Arabesque Passion Print, look at how beautiful this is. And this is the clear Evermore cylinder guys. I'm gonna give you all the information, but first let me show you the, uh, the different fragrance oils that I'm trying to use for these beautiful masterpieces guys. Yes, I'm gonna, I'm planning to do a blend of these beautiful fragrance oils from 6017. These are the latest six oil releases from 6017, guys. So let me just give you a closer look. Hold on. Okay, so the first one is Blameless Sailor. The second one is Virgin Jungle. The third one is the Vibrant Miss Veen. The next one is gonna be Lucky Albatross. And then, as fate will have it, and then Grand Dome. Yes, guys, I'm going to give you all the information on all these beautiful oils uh, because I'm going to be making two masterpieces, guys. Yes, the even more clear and the arabesque passion print. Okay, guys, so I'm going to give you all the information when I come back. Okay, so let's start. I'm going to give you the information about the arabesque passion print and the Evermore cylinder. Okay, guys, let me just give you this information first. Okay, the clear Evermore cylinder, guys. Yes, you can do so much with these guys. So easy to wig, guys, and I always get great results i always use a double cdn number three guys and we're gonna do that together okay so elegant and refined our clear evermore cylinder is the pinnacle of understated grace thick crystal clear glass with a heavy base yes evermore is an essential vessel for every candle line okay the recommended fill is 13 ounces although many makers prefer 14 ounces i'm gonna be using 14 ounces for this okay guys again you can use our metal deck you can use the, the metal leads for the Evermore cylinders, guys. And also, they have the wood leads for the Evermore cylinders. We can information test it with our containing candles, three and number seven, guys. We like a double CDN number three best. The fragrance oil you choose may affect your wicking. Please perform your own wick testing for safety and performance, okay, guys? Okay, the next one, this one is the Arabesque. <sighs> and this one is so bougie, so refined. It matches my outfit today, guys. So these two vessels just came back, back on stock, okay guys? Our best Hamblon glass is a lighter version than the previous offering, okay? It is more ballerina pink than mauve. With exquisite Hamblon light pink bubbles. Yes, beautiful. Our best will dance its way into your heart. Guys, look how beautiful the color is. Look! Okay, each jar is designed by the 1617 creative team and it is handmade, reusable, and upcyclable. Because passion prints are not painted, they can be reused as drinking glasses or barware. Our stunning passion prints handmade glass is truly unique. No two pieces are identical. Each jar is truly a one of a kind. Color is deposited into the glass rather than painted, making this piece both exclusive and durable. Adding wax to this jar creates a beautiful white background, allowing the pattern to, and colors to pop. The, uh, this glass is thick and strong, a candles make a dream. Okay, guys, yes! For weekend days, they recommend double CDN number four with most fragrance oils. Again, you have to start making your own testing uh, because it works for me. It doesn't mean that it's gonna be working for you. Okay, guys, so you have to, that, this is a, a starting point for that you can start testing. Okay. okay, so the first fragrance oil is Blameless Sailor, guys. This one here. Yes! The top note of this is Fresh Peach. Uh, middle note citrus blossom and sweet basil and the base note clove and nutmeg so here it is okay <sighs> it takes you to the ocean guys it has uh, a lot of oceanic vibes in here it takes you like to like to a beach you know it's, it's just very very tropical very but very very spiritual i think it has a little bit of a i don't know it's something like it it, it embraces you so much I think the clove and the nutmeg at the bottom really like mixes so well with the with the top note of peachiness. It has a, the sweetness at, at, at the top note, and then it ends with a with a big hug, you know, and very romantic, guys. Okay, so this one is number one, blameless sailor. So I'm gonna put it in here so you can see it. Number two is Virgin Jungle. This is the the label, guys. <sighs> this is so citrusy, so like energetic uh the top note is bergamot and peach middle note is jasmine sand back and the bottom note is cashmere and teak wood so i think this is more rough you know more rustic uh, i think complements very well with the other one guys because it's different vibe but i would not mix this together you know i don't think this will go but we'll see because i'm gonna try blending oils okay 
Okay, so this is all number two, Virgin Jungle. The next one is Vibrant Miss Bean. Okay, here it is. And guys, I got to meet her. I mean, I didn't meet her, I saw her on, on Instagram. Oh my God, this is amazing. This has to be one of the candles. Okay, guys, uh, the top knot for this is Cotton Blossom, Middle Nose, Dry Rose, and Geranium. I'm in love with this one, guys. I think the, uh, the floral notes in this. Um, okay, the top note is Cotton Blossom, Middle Nose, Dry Rose, and Geranium. This tells me a story, guys, so romantic. And the bottom note, incense and amber. This truly, truly, truly touches your soul. <sighs> Amazing! Okay, this one is gonna be one of my candles. Most likely, this one is gonna be on the arabesque passion print because this one is very delicate, very sexy, very like <sighs> wild at the same time. Next one is Lucky Albatross. Oh my goodness, it's like they're all so different. This is why I love 6070 so much, guys. It's, it's a, each and every one of them is so unique. Each and every one of them tells you a story. <sighs> this one is another vibe. This one is like meeting the, oh my God, a true man, true romance, guys. Okay, Lucky, Lucky Albatross, beautiful, guys. The top note is Rosewood and Lemon. Again, the citrus notes really like, Opens your eyes, guys, to reality and to fantasy too. It all depends on what you're looking for. Top nose, okay, rose with a lemon. Middle nose, a neroli and nutmeg. I love neroli. And the bottom nose is cedar wood and cardamom. So this has this mix, guys. It's very exotic, very wild, very <sighs> rough sometimes. <sighs> I think. This one is very masculine, guys. I love it. Yes. Okay, the next one is As Fate Will Have It. Okay, another beautiful masterpiece. Oh my God. The top note, sherry and coconut. But the coconut is not, it's almost, if you don't read it that it's there, it's, it will, you will think, oh my God, what, what's in here that it smells so unique. So sophisticated, guys. It gives it that touch of Je ne sais quoi, you know? What is that? Uh, top notes, sherry and coconut. Middle notes, almond and jasmine. The jasmine is, oh my goodness, epic. And the bottom notes is vanilla and tonka bean. <sighs> it's pure love, guys. This is pure love. Yes, okay. And the last one is Grand Dome, guys. Yes, this one is grand. Oof, yes! Oh my goodness, uh, top notes, bergamot and lavender. Very purifying, very innocent, you know? Middle notes, Caterini tobacco. Decadent, and the base note is balsam fur. Okay guys, this one it gives you like that touch of romance for the summer. Oh my God, this goes with both, with both um, beautiful vessels, guys. It's gonna be tough for me to to decide which one to use for each. Okay, so now we're gonna start blending, guys. Okay, so let me just get ready for the blend and I'll be right back, yeah! Okay, so let's start having fun, okay, guys? Okay. First, I'm gonna look at them, the two of them, guys, and I'm just gonna, you know, get inspired by the beautiful looks, you know, all these beautiful vessels. Okay, then I'm gonna just put them in here. Okay, and I'm just gonna take first strip that comes to my mind is this one here. This one is Lucky Albatross. It's very masculine, guys. <sighs> Rosewood and Nemon. Neuralia, Nutmeg, and Cedarwood and Cardamom. Okay, this one belongs, this one belongs in here, guys. <sighs> the energy is just clear energy like this, okay? It's very raw, very like, <sighs> to the point, okay? So clear, a clear, clear mindset, okay? So let's see. What can I pair with Lucky Albatross? Okay, let's see. Uh, Lucky Albatross and the Vibram Miss Bean. Let's see what that gives me. Okay. No, the, the Vibram Miss Bean needs to go into the arabesque, guys. So I'm gonna put it right here. That's for sure it's gonna be on one of the candles. It's gonna be on the arabesque because she's spoken to me already. Okay, so I'm gonna try Lucky Albatross and let's see that Grand Dome. Let's see, the two of them together. <sighs> They're both epic. They are both epic by themselves. Now, 
you have to be careful, guys. Sometimes, you no, know, 16, 17 oils, some of them, they will not want to be blended with anything else. And you have to respect that, guys, because they all have different oils. They all each has its own voice, so you have to respect that, okay? Now, let's see if these two together will get along with each other because sometimes they don't like to get along with each other, okay? Lucky Albatross and Grand Dome. Okay, let's see. Okay, right off the back. Come get me. Okay, let's see. Lucky Albatross and Grand Dome. Okay, the top note for this is going to be Rosewood and Lemon for Lucky Albatross and Bergamot and Lavender from Grand Dome. That top note is very welcoming, very embracing, very like, very romantic. Okay, the middle note is for Lucky Albatross. It's going to be Neroli and Nutmeg, which is very yummy. It, it works into you. And the one for Grand Dome is Catherine Tobacco. So it's very decadent too, you know, so they both get along so well. And the base notes for Lucky Albatross is Cedarwood and, and Cardamom. Again, very yummy, very, very intrigued, very exotic. And for Grand Dom, it's Balsam Fur. Okay, these two together, guys, they're truly epic, okay? So let me just set this aside and let's see what else we have in here on the game. Well, those two are very, like, very, very good. Okay, the next one that I'm going to try. Okay, let's try Virgin Jungle. Let me just move this aside. And I'm gonna try Virgin Jungle. <sighs> okay, this one by itself, <sighs> it's gonna be tough to match, okay? Because it's telling me that I wanna be by myself, okay? But we'll try, we'll see, okay? <sighs> okay, let's see if I mix the jungle and the sea, okay? So let's see. <sighs> Blameless Sailor and Virgin Jungle. Let's see what story they're telling me. Okay, let's bring them together. Okay, they're trying to become friends. For some reason, they don't want to become, to become friends. Uh, it's two different vibes. One is the ocean vibe, the other one is the, the earth vibe. Uh, they don't want to be together, guys. Blaming uh, Blameless Cello want to be by itself. And Virgin Jungle too, okay. So let me just put this to the side. Okay, now let's see. As fate will have it with Virgin Jungle. What is this telling me? Let's see. Let's say, let's see. Okay, you see? This, the two of these are like earthy, have earthiness on them. Let me see what they, what's in here, guys. Okay, so what's in here is as fate will have it. And Virgin Jungle, let's see what's in here. Okay, the top notes for, for both of them are Sherry and Coconut and Bergamot and Peach. Okay, you see that, that first opening note, it works really well. They all like intermingle so seamlessly and they all have their own story to tell, guys. So very inspiring. Okay, the mid notes are Almond and Jasmine and Jasmine and Sa um, Jasmine Sandbag. So that the middle note of Jasmine together with the with the almond guys is really truly truly epic. It makes it more strong, very seductive, very romantic. Okay, and the bottom note is vanilla and tonka bean and cashmere and thick wood. Perfect combination, guys, for our base note for beautiful masterpiece candle. Okay, guys, also, I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be the one that I'm gonna be going for, guys. Uh, this is truly magic, guys, okay? Now, let's see. Let's see. Because I want to have this vibrant Miss Bean, but I wanna blame it with some, I wanna blend it with something else, guys. Blameless Sailor, let me see how that gives, what that gives me, guys. No. The vibrant Miss Bean wants to be by itself. She doesn't wanna be with anybody else, guys. She doesn't wanna be with anybody else, okay? Oh my goodness. So let's see. So it's between Grand Dom and Lucky Albatross for the Evermore Cylinder. Epic. Okay, and as fate will have it, and the Virgin Jungle. <sighs> it's so tough. Okay, so I'm gonna look at it, guys. I'm gonna look at the vessel and I'm gonna smell them again. What is this telling me? <sighs> okay, this one is giving me so much energy. And this one is giving me. <sighs> this. But this one is more citrusy. This one is more uh, summery, more more fun. This one is more passion. 
Okay, this one, I think this, these two as fate will have it and Virgin Jungle uh, wants to go in here, guys. Okay, and I think <sighs> Grand Dam and Lucky Albatross, guys. <sighs> they wanna be in here, okay? So this is it, guys, okay? So uh, the Valve Miss Bing is gonna go into another vessel. But for this vessel, guys, this is telling me that this one and have this combination, guys. So for the arabesque print, uh, passion print, I'm gonna have equal parts Grand Dom and Lucky Albatross, okay? Ah, uh, for the clear evermore cylinder, I'm gonna have as fate will have it and Virgin Jungle. <sighs> yes, okay, guys. Now we have in here, guys, the perfect blend for these two masterpieces, guys, guys, and they are gonna be. Equal parts, okay guys? So let me just get everything ready guys to make the candles and I'll be right back! Yes! Success! Okay guys, so let's start measuring the wax, okay? For the candles, the first candle that I'm gonna be making, I mean measuring the wax, is gonna be for the arabesque, okay? And this one, according to this recommendation, these specifications from 6017, it has a, a, a total fill of 15 ounces, okay? So, but we have to remember guys that we are, I wanna do a 10% fragrance load for this, so we have to, do the numbers, okay? So now, if we want 10% of 15 ounces, guys, so we are gonna be doing 15, which is the total fill, okay? Times 0 0.10 for 10%, that's gonna equal 1.5, okay? That's gonna be, we're gonna be needing 1.5 ounces of fragrance load for a 10%, okay? Now, so how much wax do I need? Okay, so if we take 15, the total fill of the candle minus, 1.5 is gonna equal 13.5, so we're gonna be needing 13.5 ounces of wax, okay? So that's what we're gonna be needing for this one now, okay? So let's let's measure 13.5 ounces of wax. So we have the wax, remember for the arabesque, it's gonna be 13.5 ounces of wax and 1.5 ounces of fragrance, uh, fragrance oil, that's gonna make it a total of 15 ounces, okay? So 14 ounces total fill of the candle, and we want to use 10% fragrance load, so we're going to be needing 14 times 0 0.10 for 10% equals 1.4. So we're going to be needing 1.4 ounces of fragrance oil. Okay, so we have it already, I already have it marked in there. Okay, so then I'm going to take 14, which is the total fill, minus 1.4, which is the amount of fragrance, load, uh, fragrance oil, it's going to give me a total of 12.6, so I need 12.6 ounces of wax, okay? So let me just measure that. So let me just put this to the side, okay? So I'm gonna need, I'm gonna do the first one first. It's gonna be for the clear, okay? And this one, I'm gonna be needing 1.4 ounces of fragrance oil, okay? So, but since we're having two fragrance oils, we're gonna have to divide that in two, okay? So 1.4 divided by two is gonna equal 0 0.7, okay? So each of the fragrance oils, uh, for the Evermore cylinder, it's gonna be 0 0.7, okay? Okay, so we have the first oil for the first masterpiece, yes! Now, second masterpiece is gonna be different because for this one, we need 1.5 ounces of fragrance oil, so we need to divide that in two. So we take 1.5 divided by two equals 0 0.75, okay, so let's do that. Okay, so the battery is almost out, so... Guys, I'm gonna clean all this up, guys, and I'll be right back, yes! Okay, guys, welcome back. So I changed the battery. Now I'm gonna start prepping the vessels, guys. So I like to use a microfiber uh, for to clean my vessels, guys. I think it's better. It takes, it leaves no res residue, you know, and it just, it cleans them to perfection, okay? Now I'm going to wick uh, the vessels, guys. And for that, I'm gonna be using the four inch cylinder. The four inch, uh, the four inch cylinder uh, wick kit from 6017, guys, I'm gonna be using their wick, uh, wick stickers, guys. And I'm using a double CD in number four for the arabesque to have full contact, okay? Look, it's perfection. Now I like to press really hard to make sure that they won't come off. Again, this is a double CD number four. This is, this is what 1617 recommends when waxes, which is number two and number seven. I mean, so number seven is my favorite one. That's what I use for my candle line and everybody loves it, okay guys? And then I'm gonna use the, the wick stabilizer to secure the wicks in place. Look, this is perfect wick vessel. Okay guys, so let's see how hot this wax is. Okay, 
I just took it up in the microwave after six minutes. Okay, it's 212. I'm gonna pour the, the fragrance oil right now. Okay, and I'm gonna let it hang out for a few seconds. Let me get a spatula. Whenever you put a spatula on, guys, it's gonna go, temperature is gonna go lower. So let's see how much lower this went now. It went to 192, you see? Hopefully this will be enough for this fragrance oil to blend with the wax. Usually I like to make it a little, a little bit hotter, but this should be fine. Okay, 191 should be fine. Okay, so this I only need to mix for 20 seconds because I'm using number seven wax, guys. This is one of the one of the attributes that I love about this wax. So in the meantime, I'm gonna put the other wax to melt also for another six minutes while this one comes to temperature. I'm gonna wait for this to go down to one between 180 and 185, guys, and then I'm gonna put it in on the vessel. Okay. It smells amazing, guys. It's 183. It's time to pour. It smells amazing, guys. This is gonna be a masterpiece. Yes. Okay. And I put a piece of paper towel just to make sure that there's no mishaps. And safety first, the oven meeting, guys, because remember, it's very hot. Okay, so let me just put this way in here. Okay, here we go, guys. Come on to life. Come on, arabesque. I did not give name to the, can to the candles, guys. Okay, guys, so I'm going to wait for the other one, so the other wax to come to temperature, and I'll bring it back. Okay, it's 214. Perfect. I'm going to add the fragrance oil. And like I did before, I'm going to let it hang out for a few seconds, 10 seconds. Should be fine. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the spatula. Let me just move this over. I'm gonna see how low the temperature the temperature went. Two or three, you see? 20 seconds, and we need to wait for this to come down to between 180 and 185, guys. So I'll come back before I start before I pour, okay? Yes! Okay guys, the temperature is 184, time to pour. Looks spectacular. And remember guys, when you pour, make sure that you have a steady flow until it ends. Do not stop. Okay, this is perfection. Okay guys, I'm gonna wait for this to solidify and I'll be back with a final thought. Yes! Hi guys, welcome back. So it's been a couple of hours. I'm gonna just show you the candles. I'm not gonna light them up because they're still, they're still not 100% solid, guys. I just wanna show you the beautiful candles, guys, using the clear Evermore vessel. This CT is amazing, guys. Always, number, number seven wax, always a limit, guys. Always, okay. And this is the arabesque. Ah, passion print. Look at how beautiful it looks, guys. Look at the finish. Again, it's still warm, so I'm not gonna light it up, guys. So I just wanna show you the beautiful finish, guys, that we got using number seven wax. Look, perfection, guys. Ah, these are two masterpieces, guys, that are gonna be for the record books, okay, guys? So let's do a quick recap of what we accomplished today, guys. So today, my mission of the day was to make two beautiful masterpieces using the latest fragrance oils from 1617, guys, okay? So I picked up the latest six fragrance oils from 1617, guys, and I picked two of them for each of the candles, okay? For the first one, for the clear, ever more vessel, guys, we use a combination of Grand Dome, Okay, equal parts, Grand Dome, and Lucky Albatross, yes! Equal parts, okay guys, for the clear remorse. Okay, for the arabesque, passion print. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. We use a combination of Virgin Jungle, and as fit, we'll have it. Okay, equal parts, yes! Okay guys, so I will highly suggest for you guys to try this mix, okay? You're gonna love it. And I just wanna thank you guys for uh, spending some time with me, guys. And don't forget, guys, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel, give a like to the video, guys. And also check out my website, candleromance.shop, so you can purchase all my beautiful candles, guys, okay? On to the next video, guys. Be well, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Yes! Success! Success! Yes! Oh my God! Yes!